guys hello 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 it seems like i'm lacking on this channel because there's just so much going on but i don't know if i'm gonna do a read i just feel like turning the camera and just talk to y'all okay um there's so much going on right now i'm in florida i'm at the emergency room not at the recovery clinic the emergency room because my aunt had a fallback i believe um i try not to keep up with titles of what's going on within her life or the stages of her cancer but i believe this is the final stage right so um there's nothing else they can do that's what the, her doctor told her um to make arrangements they gave her about six months to live um and that's just crazy to me you know she's only 65 um, years old i believe she's 65 she's like what three years young older than my father my father was 62 when he passed um it's just so crazy so crazy of what's happening you know and we knew like what is coming but it's actually moving faster than we thought because the doctor says three six months and i believe like that's what they said to, about my dad too but he didn't even make it to three months so um it's just crazy i don't know if i'm gonna upload this but i just felt like to just i have the deck here you know but i just like i can't with all this on my mind, you guys, I can't do this reading. I don't know why. And I've been trying to do readings all day. And I feel like I have not said much about this. My mom has been more more vocal about what's going on with us on her channel and everything. And i just been like, I mourn differently, if that makes sense. It's kind of like when everything happens and then months later then you see that I'm born and it's like I'm kind of a, like a late bloomer but everything around me is triggering me like I did not want the, to go to the hospital like the emergency room because of the machines like it just rem reminded me of the beep that I kept hearing with my, my ex-fiance that passed away and it's like that machine and the heart rate and all that stuff like with the, the numbers and uh, it's just like triggering me y'all so um and it's like i'm coming off really cold because i'm trying to protect my state of mind and then everyone is in denial of everything as well of what's happening it's like my aunt is in so much pain if you guys are if you guys ever been through cancer and you recovered from it, then you know what I'm talking about, the pain that comes with cancer, especially when you're not you're not on treatments anymore and it's just taking over your body and you it's like I knew what to expect, but when I saw my aunt and how much weight she have lost in her face, in her lips, in her arms, basically like a skeleton right now like she doesn't have muscle mask anymore and that's not her that's not what I remember and then she's so swollen it's, it's other places you know like it's just water like swollen in her stomach and that's all cancer too so in her legs it's just so crazy to me that this is happening and then you're kind of like having flashbacks of the life that you guys had together, the memories, the old time and how her personality was, she's still here, but then you're having all these flashbacks of everything that's going on and it's like, whoa. And then you realize like, wow, so, you know, the day is coming where, I mean, a miracle could still happen, but she can't even breathe right now, you guys. And this is why she came to the emergency room from the recovery clinic they brought her here because my allergies are messed up that's another thing but 
she couldn't even breathe because of the cancer is to our heart now like it's spread into the heart or it's already spread to the heart um, and I saw a x-ray that they did and I wasn't supposed to see that but then I saw that and half of the her rib like her lungs like half of the body you can't even see no organs it's all cancer that so and it's all the way up to the heart so that's like the doctor says it's spread to the heart so you know it's just like and then she's going in and out with fevers and that's a sign you know of the process of the cancer and now they got her um their high, high blood pressure leveled out and she has an infection and all of that so it's just and that's another thing with cancer just lets you get so much infections especially you know UTIs and stuff like that um, and so that's what she's suffering with she urine it hurts so bad and she's going through that process because it start you know in the ovaries with her you know so it's just so crazy and now I'm just realizing that this this horrible devil is in our family genetics like because my cousin just found out like not too long ago that she had stage one and she removed everything because she did not want to deal with it. She didn't have to take chemo, thank God, or anything like that, but she removed everything and um, she's very lucky that she caught it that early. So, but my aunt, she wasn't so lucky because, you know, my family is the kind of like this, like, they don't like the hospitals. And if they're having pain or something like that, especially if you're from the West Indies, if you guys relate with me, if you're from, you know, some kind of island, it doesn't even matter which. It's just the island people, I think, is like this. Like, they drink tea for everything. Like, drink a cup of tea if you have backache, if you have gas, if you have feel this, if you're not feeling well. Cup of tea, cup of tea, something, like natural ingredients to kind of like, instead of taking medications, they just take a lot of pills for all of this so she never went to the hospital until it was too late so pay attention to your body you guys pay attention to your body uh, and I need to do the same you know sometimes I like I when my father got sick I rushed myself to the hospital because I just wanted to see if I was okay because this cancer thing I just did not expect it to reach our family we always had high blood pressure or diabetes you know or somebody had a stroke or something that's what we because of all from our eating habits with all the salt and sugar you know that's what triggers us but I never thought that cancer cancer oh my god that C word is the devil um, it's been around for so long and no one seems to have to be close to like even a treatment like come on now so for us to like instead of poisoning our bodies to get healed from it or you know I don't even, can't even say that because that even, doesn't even work most of the time right so it's like they have no kind of medication or something that could help us you know to stop this cancer, to for stop this cancer from spreading in your body. But um, it's crazy. I don't know where, what I'm doing right now. Recording this video. I guess I wanted to give you guys an update. If you guys don't see me on here, I'm just like out of it, like a little bit. I can't, like I cannot do this without trying to like talk to you about what's on my mind right now about all of this. What I try to do is kind of like protect myself from the hospital thing because I'm still triggered from the hospital thing and all the machines and the tubes and all of this where you see people on life support. I am still not healed from that. And I'm hearing this machine going off in my aunt's room and I'm like, oh my God, I need to just remove myself. So that's what I did and I've been in the waiting room all this time, but beautiful hospital by the way but I just that's another thing you know if you don't have insurance and you don't have money this is so corrupt 
like the system is so corrupt i thought that doctors or nurses which i i can't even like i know they're just following directions because they have to sign off on everything when they approve a surgery or move forward with anything but the way things are today like money is so much more important and valuable over other people's life and saving people so if you don't have insurance i i'm glad that my aunt has insurance but I, you know the funny thing about that is i didn't even know that it had other stages of insurance like because some in store and some insurance cover certain things or are, are a limited of certain things and others cover a lot more because her doctor had the nerve to tell her that her insurance they still have treatments but her insurance doesn't cover it so basically what what we gave you is what your insurance can cover obviously it didn't work and we, we could still try to save you and you still have a chance to live but because your insurance doesn't cover it we can't give it to you so there's nothing else we can do for you you need to get your like arrangements in order that's what she was told um and then another thing that, that her doctor said to her was that was really tripping that i could believe that i heard she the um they asked her if she was unresponsive but still breathing would she like to be on the machine she said yes she wants to fight you know she wants her body to fight until her body gives out her doctor said why would you want to do that like what why would you want to do that and put your family through that like that's her choice and i couldn't believe that they just sat there and let that doctor even said that like mind your business and write down what you need to write down and approve what you need to prove like that like i hear stories that i see people on i uh tiktok you know really like recorded their doctors and how their doctors are treated them but i cannot believe like i feel like if you went to school to be a doctor and you're not happy quit the job not everybody is here to save people i feel like some people they um uh, get into doctorship or nursingship because their family you know is a doctor or you know they're forced to be in that kind of environment but if you're not happy with it don't do it because you're not doing it for the right reasons and it's a lot of pressure being a doctor especially a doctor because people depend on you to save lives and not every day a doctor can save lives you know people do have their time to go you know, so, but I just, I don't know. I just wanted to come on here and just um, update you guys on what's going on with me and where I am. I'm going to try to do messages, but I'm going to try to just take it easy real quick, recover, and uh, then get into headspace, okay? Love you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.